As you folks may already know, SimiCube has recently released their own wireless wheel. Well, they're also going to soon release a new wireless wheel number two module. This PCB will be the new input controller, and it's going to be sold alongside their existing wireless wheel module number one. But this new one has some extra features that aren't available currently. It's going to have more digital inputs as well as four analog axes. So that means they're going to now have clutch controls built in. And this module will also have a non-rechargeable battery version as well as a rechargeable version. with a built-in voltage regulator. The module size, it looks like it's gonna be slightly larger than the existing one with new M.2 connectors, two connectors actually. And it's gonna have a total of 96 digital inputs for analog. Wireless is going to be the same, Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz. So that's quite a big difference. The existing one only supports 28 inputs. This new one will have 98, of which 96 are fully configurable with two reserved for shifter paddles. Input pins can also be enabled, can also be used as enable pins. These enable pins can be used to enable and disable other devices. So that's kind of like a shift function, like a shift button. So you have another set of modes, I guess. Advanced functionalities, encoder, 12 virtual encoders. Well, that'll be nice. And also, there's going to be this CMEQ button. So that's going to be like Fanatic, where they have their button to program the four feedback modes. Hold it down for one second or more to enter the mode. Then you can change parameters. So let's take a look at that some more. The SC button mode is designed around a seven-way funky switch with an encoder and a five-way joystick. Holding the parameter section down for more than two seconds will reset parameter. So I wonder if this will actually save the parameter on the wheel. So if you move it to another device or take it off the wheelbase, it'll remember the settings so you don't have to do it every time you switch wheels. Hmm. Okay, analog inputs. So this describes how you can wire in your clutch levers. Hall effect sensors may not work with pulsed ABCC. So it supports pulse width modulation. So there's some design guidelines that they have here regarding sleep mode. Okay, battery connections. So there's the rechargeable version, which supports lithium polymer and lithium ion. No other, other battery types are supported. So no metal, nickel metal hydride batteries.
warnings against other types. So you can also charge this when the wheel is turned off. So that's good. On a rechargeable version. So this will be your, your standard batteries like your alkalines or maybe your lithiums, double A's, triple A's, CR123's. Pin out. So it's using M.2 connectors, two of them instead of the shoulder pads on the version one. So wow, well, look at this table here. It's a lot of inputs. Okay, so here they recommend a specific M.2 connector from TE Connectivity as a manufacturer. So they're saying this is the only one that they're currently recommend to use as there's slight differences in the pins from other manufacturers. Okay, so currently it's not available, not sold directly to customers. So if you're an OEM, I contact them and order a few and start playing around and see if you can uh, design some test models. But it's it's really interesting that uh, they don't have any support for things like CAN bus because the new Fanatic wheel quick release system does support that. But finally, we do get clutch control.